Hey guys, uh, this video is just going to be for a quick little demo of a uh, quote-unquote Vegas mode uh, to build it for uh, MA. Uh, if you're looking for actual like fader and button tests, uh, MA actually includes them. Uh, I want to include a link in the description below to their documentation on that. But uh, I had somebody asking me the other week to make them do a little sine wave. Uh, I, I'm seeing audio consoles doing it. I couldn't give you one in particular. Um, but just for the sake of being able to, I uh, figured, what the hell, let's do it. Um, so, to make this happen, we're going to have to have a channel for each fader. So, we're going to go in, we're going to patch. And if this is something you're doing on, a, like, an actually, like, live use show file, just you're just going to patch these to a location that they aren't used, or really, out, you don't even have to patch them. Uh, so, I'm going to do, let's do 30 of them just to hit all the faders. Um, name these dummy faders. Channel ID 1, sure. Um, and like I said, I'm going to test this out without even patching them because it should work. There's no reason it shouldn't. Uh, so we'll close this out. Now we're going to make our groups real quick. So let's do a group. I'm going to have an effects window in a second. So I'm going to say channel 1 through oop, 30. Store here. And then... All right. And grab these, edit a new effect, and we're going to make it a dimmer effect since that's all we've got. And there's our effect, so we'll call it Fader Wave. Ah. All right, Fader Wave. Nope, still not right. There we go. So the last step to making this work is I'm going to say assign channel 1 through 30. Uh, uh oh. There we go. So now, uh, on my channel page, uh, which personally I never actually use for programming, maybe I'm a, a fool for such, uh, but I've assigned uh, those channels to these uh, channel faders so that now, oops, leave that alone, when I run this effect, you, oh, well, I guess I could have uh, changed the speed of that, couldn't I? All right, let's try that. Uh, we'll drop this down to 10 BPM. All right, let's take a look again. Hey, look, ta-da, we have this handy, happy little uh, wave moving across our executors. Uh, if you want to narrow the, the wavelength of that a little bit, we just tweak our phase. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to double it to 0 through minus 720. And now we go back. We have a, a tighter wave moving across. Um, if you are using this like as part of a test show file, I would probably just grab this and put them all to the same phase. Um, if you're not just trying to, to be a dork and have fun, and maybe even change your waveform to be the triangle wave uh, so that you can see them all moving without any like acceleration and deceleration. It's always just a constant speed moving up and down. Um, Again, like I said, MA does have uh, some built-in functionality for this on startup, so um, that link is in the description below. Check that out if you're looking for something serious to do it. Again, this was just kind of just for shits and giggles. Um, so, yeah, there's that. There's social media stuff in the link below, and uh, have fun fucking with your console.